Let's head over to fifacoinsforsale.com and don't forget to use my discount code GUNA to get yourself 6% off. What's up guys, Gunnar's here bringing you episode number 2 of Van Basten's Venture to Victory, my Road to Glory series using the legend Marco Van Basten. So if you saw the first episode, we earned ourselves some rewards, we got ourselves a win, which is what we wanted, and we managed to get ourselves a gold pack, which is always fantastic. So anyway, we didn't get much in a gold pack, got a few contracts, a few players worth discarding, and of course you guys had to vote which player we upgraded, so you guys are absolutely ham, and Wesley Schneider was by far the winner, he had double the vote of the nearest guy, when Alden was the other guy as well, if that's how you pronounce, he was second, and we had Eye of My Affair, but Schneider was way ahead of the rest, he got like loads more votes, I think he got like 14 votes in total in the comments, it's absolutely outstanding, so I went to pick him up and put him into squad, I couldn't afford the, you know, like any of his informs at the moment, so we've just gone with his regular card to go with, but you know, his regular card is decent, so we slide him in right away at Cam there, and we have a look at how the squad is improving now, still we haven't got full Cam yet, but you know, with that striker, so here's a quick look at the rules, there you go, you can see Van Basten's goals, 2k, we haven't changed them yet, but we might adjust them for future episodes, depending on how things pan out right now, but right now we're going to go with this, 20k for a rage quit we get, every win gets your 7.5k gold pack, Van Basten goals, 2k, assist, 1k, hat trick, 10k, you know, each, remember as always, the pink slips are going to be in this as well. So we go into the first game and there you go, we're up against a full silver team. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm still pretty confident you might have a full silver squad, but you know what, I've got some decent players in there. So we start off, Schneider gets his first touch and he plays in Van Basten. He's playing a high line. I don't know why he's playing a high line. Do not give Van Basten that time and space because that's what he'll do to you. He'll absolutely destroy you. He had all day to pick out his spot. So when Van Basten picks the ball up again, his silver defenders just don't know what to do at the moment and he pings it off the post with his weak foot and I don't know what Schneider was doing there he was absolutely struggling and did even put the ball and didn't react but you know what they go down we still have bronze defenders and he gets back into the game it's a good finish you know what I eased off it was almost too easy at the start I was slacking I wasn't paying attention I wasn't focusing on my game and he came back into it but then Van Basten picks the ball up there what do you think he's going to do he's going to cross no he's up against silver defenders look at all that time and space in the box and a lovely calculated finish there it didn't have to smash the ball to beat the keeper placement is key sometimes and that was that for that goal but then he gets back into things here and look at that oh I thought he had scored but he didn't and the ball almost crossed the line I was very fortunate he was like putting on some pressure but sapping is there a nice turn and beats the keeper that's when you've got these gold strikers against these silver keepers they just can't keep up but we get back to steam that's pretty good so now Van Basten's got himself 4k you know he's already doing well is he going to get a hat trick is he going to get the bonus is he going to get it well what do you think the silver defenders are all in despair and he smashes it into the top corner that's what you want you know you just can't keep up with him and we get ourselves a hat trick in again what more can you say the legend is turning up it is his road to glory but then they get another goal I can't believe it you know what just when I think I'm cruising and this like you know it's quality I thought Van Basten was gonna get a little bit more there another goal but then this guy is pushing absolutely pushing he didn't give up fair play to him and he scores again to make it 4-3 I'm thinking what on earth is going on here like the game just didn't flow like this for me it, like, it was so easy for me but then Van Basten goes through the keepers off his line what's he gonna do with his weak foot a calculated finish there the keeper just didn't know what to do chip the ball over the keeper and that's Van Basten getting another four goals in his first game he got four goals in this second game he got four goals there's eight goals from two games already I know we're playing in division 10 but you know you can only beat who's in front of you but I'm quite impressed with that quite an entertaining game end to end it shouldn't have been that close but anyway, Van Basten gets himself another four goals, another 18k into the bank, which is absolutely outstanding, and another goal pack to add into the mix as well, which is what we want. There you go, looking at the match facts there. Van Basten again, clearly man of the match, and why wouldn't he be after scoring four goals, which is pretty decent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the record, and you see there two wins from two, six points, and we'd like cruising in Division 10. So we're going to go into the second game now, and this squad was a little bit more of a handful because they've got some goal players in there, and not only some goal players, but some sweaty goal players, Lukaku, Defoe. You know what? This guy knew what he was doing. He's up tactically upgrading the squad. So as we go into the game, and straight away there, look at that. He takes the lead 
lead within the first few minutes. I don't know what was going on there, to be fair. And you know what? I realised I had to step up to this game because this guy was like, you know, he's a decent player. But we get ourselves a corner straight away. And that, like, I don't even know what happened in terms of how quickly the replay went. But there you go. One of our defenders gets himself on there. But then Defoe, my problem is this defence at the moment. These Bron defenders cannot handle some sweaty strikers. And Defoe had all the time he needed and the pace to put the ball away. We're under pressure again. And look at that. We're like absolutely scraping. And he gets himself free one up. I was thinking, oh my days, we're going to lose in Division 10. Surely not. The hero is not even turned up to the show in this game. But you know what, Wesley Schneider is there, goes through and smashes the ball into the top corner. That is what we want. That is our new sign in there coming into effect. What more can you say? And I'm sure there'll be a lot more from him. So we get ourselves a corner as well. And who is there to head the ball in? That, of course, is the hero of the show. Marco Van Basten gets himself another 2K to throw into the mix, which is absolutely outstanding. Add that to the 18K from the first game and you're literally balling. So Van Basten again, look at that in the box. Is anyone going to stop him? Of course course not they're not going to stop him that's a beautiful finish from there the defenders were all around him and he manages to smash it in the top corner it's like just absolutely amazing to use him that is 10 goals in three games absolutely outstanding and that turned out to be too much for the guy that was the absolute last straw and he decides in the 76 minute that he'd absolutely had enough of this game i was thinking all right let's take the ball on let's go let's try and get some more goals and rage quit boom he's had enough that goal from van basten was the last straw that broke the camel's back and there you go he wasn't quite man of the match this time got two goals though but look at that we get back and from that horrendous start as well that was absolutely outstanding so we're like pummeled on the pressure we get ourselves another win we're now free from free perfect record to be fair, I don't want to be losing any games in these lower divisions. I want to be smashing my way right through and getting on to Division 1. So we've done well this episode. We've managed to get ourselves 22k in total from Van Basten's bonuses there. As you can see, 18k from the first game because he got four goals. And then a further 4k from the second game as he only got two goals in that game. But it's pretty good. We also got ourselves two 7.5 gold packs to open in the next episode for the two wins. And also we've got an extra 20k to throw into the pot because of the rage quit. Absolutely outstanding. And what we'll look to do is only build players using the coins that we've amassed based on the bonuses so today the position i'm going for is the cdm i want a dutch cdm guys has to be less than the coins that we've got so we've got about 40 ish k or so to spend let's see drop a comment below who you want to see in the cdm spot you guys will choose the guy who gets the most votes will go into the squad so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like below comment subscribe and as always thanks for watching